How's it going, guys? Welcome to the first ever episode of Alpha Male uh, ever, actually. So uh, if you're thinking of going and checking and see if there's more episodes, don't. In a bizarre turn of events, we actually have a lot of packages today, so we should probably get right on this. Thank you to everybody who sent packages. If it weren't for you guys, this show wouldn't even make any sense. I would just be standing here opening packages, but there wouldn't even be any packages here. I'd just be like a mime, and I think every day that I am not a mime is a victory in my book, so thank you to everybody who allowed me to not be a mime, at least for one more day. Today I'm going to be opening my packages with my Bowie knife. The first one I made, going to be for sale pretty soon actually. Very pretty, very epic, what else do you need? Today's number one package in this adorable darling little flamingo bubble wrap is from Jack Tar Knives. I'm hoping to get maybe another knife, a little knife buddy for this one. Ooh. Here, I'll read I'll read this in a second. We got us a nice little looks like a Kydex sheath. Haha. <laughs> Ooh. I think I have a new knife for opening packages. What's this called? I think this is um this actually looks a lot like those knives that you use to cut leather with. I don't know what they're called though. But look. Get that nice little snap. So if I wanted to walk around if I had a smaller hat. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Check this out. He already blew me out of the water with his touch mark. Maybe I'll just take pictures with my phone and then put it into the video. This might be the best idea I ever had. But is it sharp? Man, I'm always seeing knife making nibbles like shaving their arm hair, or their leg hair, or whatever. I'm like, why don't you ever just shave hair that you actually want to cut off. Like, I, I, to this day, for some reason, I've never seen a guy, you know, make a knife and then shave his nipples with it. Like, that seems like it makes so much more sense. Wait a minute, that was my fault, hold on. There you go, there you go. Thanks, Jack, appreciate it. Ooh, stickers, very cool. Man, I hope this video is in focus. Letters be kind of too long for me to like just read on camera like this, but literally at it on the spot, I'm reading the whole entire thing, but I'm uh, summarizing it through the video editing, okay? Dear Eli, how are you? I'm five. Uh, oh, hmm. I would find that hard to believe if he wrote I'm five and not I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, hopefully I mailed this in time for the next alpha male video. Okay, bro, look, that says vidfo. I'll never lie to you guys. I always tell the truth, but you know, when, when somebody write vidfo, gotta call them out. If not, then greetings from a couple of months ago. I don't think it's gonna be months and months between videos, but who knows, I am me. I'm still a beginner with a lot to learn, but you've helped me discover a passion that I hope to continue well into the future. To show my appreciation, please accept this handmade Kiridashi. Kirid Kiridashi. Kiridashi. There was something about it. I, I knew it looked very Japanese-y. A Kiridashi. Very cool, man. The perfect box opener, I would say. I've also included some stickers with my shop logo on them. You can put them on your Dan to mark your territory. I'm putting. I'm gonna put your sticker on my Dan to mark my territory. Hmm. Sound like somebody trying to steal my Dan, not gonna lie. I'm running out of paper, so I'll sign off. Oh, wow, dude. He sent me his last piece of paper. What an honor. Love, Zach Agosto. Bro, how your name gonna be Zach and you name your knife company Jack? Not sure about that one, bro. Thanks though, J Zach. Jack, Jack Black. Appreciate it. Oh wait, I gotta use your knife now. Appreciate it. I'm not going in size order this time. Not that I've done this before. I'm just opening all the packages, man. Come on, give me a break. Ooh, I haven't had Honey Nut Cheerios in a long time. Thanks, man, I appreciate it. Ah, oh, frick. There's a shirt in here. What a turn of events. Oh, well. What the? Wow, he sent me uh, reparations. Finally. Thank you. My people, we've just been held back for too long. The Polish Mexicans will finally rise up. This is our year. Trust me. What's up, Eli? My name is Shane. I've... Oh, yeah. All the stuff I dropped on the floor. Oh, yeah. And the shirt that I've been holding in my hand. Ace paint. Wait. Oh, this is a normal ace shirt. So we've got a, um, I don't know, a vegan spork, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, man? Um, some kind of, uh, well, I'll read it to you. It says, uh, scouting serves the Jewish community. I'm entirely positive this is unironic. There's uh, definitely not any kind of joke here. Wow, we got Madagascar 2 for the Nintendo DS. <gasps> Up! The video game, dude, I've been waiting for this to come out in Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Definitely a very coherent package. Let's see what the letter has to say. What's up, Eli? My name is Shane. I'm from Weymouth, uh, Ma Mass Massachusetts. I've been watching your videos for years and I'm really big fan of your work. In this box, Cheerios, I've sent you a couple of things that I think you'll find pretty cool 
or funny slash dumb. First is the Ace shirt from the hardware store I work at. It might be a bit big on you. Sorry we didn't have extra small. Haha. <laughs> if you could wear it in one of your videos, that would be really epic. It's just the store you work at though, right? It's not like the one you don't like own the store. Maybe once I get a little bit of that, uh, that I almost said something I shouldn't. Um, some money. I'm gonna be uh, needing some money from Ace if I'm gonna be repping their brand. <laughs> yeah. Next, you'll find a copy of Gears of War for the Xbox as well as Up in Madagascar 2 for the DS. I remember you saying something about starting a gaming series a while back, so feel free to use these. Lamau. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a Nintendo DS or want one. As well as a wooden nickel for you. I know how reverent and faithful you are. LOL. Am I Jewish now? News to me. Anyway, take care of yourself. Keep up the awesome work. You're killing it, man. Say hi to Dan for me. Let me text him. Hey, hello, uh, voice to text. Boop beep. Hey, Dan, Shane says hi. Beep boop. All right, well, thank you, Shane. Appreciate it a lot. Let me guy, <laughs> let me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guys know if you want the 20-part uh, up Nintendo DS gaming series, or I should say, let me know how bad you want it, because of course all you guys really want that. Next package is from Evan Middleton. Slice. The freak? Is this medication? The freak? Why you got this stapled to the bottom? Bruh. Oh. <clears throat> Leg day. What are these syringes? There's some syringes and they're like stapled to the bottom of the package. Looks like they're just utility syringes. I mean, not just, it's still very generous and thank you for them, but I don't know. I thought there was gonna be something more nefarious going on here. Could definitely use those though. Candy, gummy bears. I don't really eat that much candy anymore now that I'm getting uh, ripped and shredded, but there's absolutely cheat days, so I'll keep that somewhere. There's like a lot of papers in here. All right, got this big envelope, small flashlight. Wow, dude, that's so freaking bright. Very cool. I'm shining it under the table and, oh, it's one of the, oh, okay. It's one of those ones that you can like adjust the beam, you know, beams be getting adjusted up in here. Very cool, very epic. Oh my gosh, there's more envelopes. Got a Corona mask. Kind of defeats the purpose, huh? If you're just getting masks from it's like random places, no idea where they came from. No idea who been in there licking them, rubbing them on their gooch. Thanks though. <laughs> Smoke car, uh, some kind of badge, and a penny. At least it's not Obama. Bruh, how many papers? How many papers possibly could fit inside one envelope? Ooh. Got number one, my dad's AC Cobra factory five kit car I helped build. Number two, Eddie the dog. Number three, me and Eddie the dog. Number four, me looking edible. Yeah, I guess. I don't know why you sent me that. Uh, appreciate it though, thank you. Ugh. Oh, heck no. Looks like he sent me his homework. No thanks. This is not flu law. I don't do your homework. <laughs> Dear Alpha Na Zelda, I'm going to keep this letter short because the entire lower half of my keyboard is broken and if it keeps happening, I'm afraid I might throw my computer. Well, that's not like, um, real sentence or anything, but I think we kind of get what you're trying to say. I sent you my trigonometry homework because I'm sure as heck not doing it. I go by Cormac. You said you needed mail to do the next alpha mail, and considering how long these packages sit in your P.O. box, I thought I'd send you your Christmas present in mid-September. I'm 91.1% Irish, so 91... How you figure out 0.1%, what the heck? So 91.1% .1 of me is disappointed that you refuse to drink or curse. I, I drink sometimes, I don't, I don't curse. You got that right, bucko. I'm also 9% Italian. Hmm, that don't add up. What do you got, like a, an extra pinky toe that is Irish? That's the 0.1%, you're a 100.1% of a person. I find this all hard to believe, sir. So 9% of me is disappointed that your speech and mannerisms aren't conducive to violent hand gestures. Why would you be disappointed in me for that? I'm not Italian. I can't read But 100% of me is grateful for the existence of ZNA Productions. That does make sense. Finally, our first coherent sentence. No lie there. Checks out. Your channel has been my favorite since I was 12. Also, may I say you look infinitely better having shaved your hair. Finally, this dude's spitting straight facts. You don't look as much like a communist anymore. I don't know what that means. Dang, he had a moment of clarity and he's just right back to it. Come on, man. 
I appreciate you reading my letter and can you send me a bullwhip by the way? I'm just kidding. Hope I got you. I mean, I do get letters and, uh, and messages like that. People be like, Hey, if you have an extra knife, can you send it to me? I'm like, no. All right. I understand. Just had to ask. No, you didn't. Well, thanks, Evan. Appreciate the package. Do not appreciate the homework, but I'll let that one slide. Next package is from Joe Skinner. Ooh, spooky. Hey, it's almost Halloween, by the way. You guys excited? I am kind of. Ooh, ooh. Looks like uh, we got ourselves a little herb chopper. Not bad. It's one of them things that you like put on the cutting board and you sort of roll it. I'm talking about. I do wonder if this is uh, made out of a saw blade or something. Hey, Eli, my name is Joe and I've been making knives for a couple of years now. I decided to send you one because I like your video. So if you like it, that's a good letter, bro. There we go. Heck yeah. Quick, concise. Of course, I love hearing from you guys, but stuff like that's refreshing, bro. Nice one, Joe. Very epic. People be sending me pictures of themselves talking about here's a picture where I look like a snack um you're a boy okay you think I want to see snack boys no boys that are snacks ew dude uh haha just kidding anyways uh here's a package from maker material supply I don't know if there's an actual person's name somewhere inside of here but that's what it says on the outside doesn't feel heavy enough to be like some steel could be though could be some uh scales Holy smackerel. Oh, okay. So it is knife steel. This nib has spent $39 on knife steel to send me. Well, thank you very much, sir. I appreciate it greatly. It feels so light. Whoa, this is legit. Three layer Sanmai white paper number two core Hitachi. Whatever the frick that means. Um, it's so shiny. Is this knife steel? I have no idea what I'm looking at. It's just like super, super, just like some dummy sparkling steel. Sand my bar stock with a touch knife making billet. Oh, there's no, oh, okay, there's a note. Hey Eli, this is a neat piece of steel I think you'll like. If I'm not mistaken, it could be a bit weird to work with, but I hope it's not too difficult. Hope you have fun. Coal, coal, my man. I didn't even, I honestly haven't even heard of steel that is sparkly. This could be its own video working with this stuff. Very cool, man. I appreciate it a lot. Next package is from Akoko, A-C-O-C-O. -C -O -C -O. I don't know if that's a name or a company or whatever. From uh, Lexington, Kentucky. <laughs> Got me some uh, assorted do-rags. Thank you. My, uh, my waves have been quite unruly recently. Nice. Dude, I can't imagine how fast I'll be able to run when I wear this. Hold on. Uh, skull reveal? Wow, my head is freaking cold. Not for long. Dude, nice. Whenever I seen bikers wearing these things, I always assumed it was a bandana, but no, it's like a, it's an actual thing. Look, you got the little loincloth for the back of your head, in case you got a pee pee on the back of your head. Can't relate. <laughs> Cringe. And then you got the little, the little tings. You know what I'm saying? Well, thanks, man. I appreciate it. This will uh, definitely be a regular part of my wardrobe from now on. No, you know what? If you don't mind, I bet Dan would actually get some, uh, some good use out of this stuff. He kind of fits the part more. He got that beard. Yeah, these won't go to waste. If anything, maybe I'll um, you wear them as underwear. Well, thank you. I knew something was different. Well, thanks, Akoko, or Akoko, or whatever. Appreciate the uh, little hats. Wait a minute. Little hats? If I had a smaller hat. Is, uh, scouting serves the Jewish community. It's all coming together. I better. I better stop questioning. Well guys, we're moving on to the big kahunas. This one's spent cost uh, $28.95 to send. So there's gotta be something priority in here. Whoa, baby. I know what this is. Aha. Aha. We got a whole thing of body armor. I wonder what these plates are. Bruh. I wish I had my squire here to help me put this on. Am I wearing this backwards? Well, I'm having trouble putting the side things on, but hold on. Well, there's how the back looks. Here's how the front looks. Pretty cool, man, pretty cool. I might be wearing it completely wrong, so don't be developing any, yikes. Don't be uh, developing any opinions on how it looks because I could be making it look a way it ain't supposed to. And you know what, man? I'm trying as hard as I can to read the name of this thing. Twen Twentonic. Teutonic can't read it, but I appreciate it. All right, here we go. Biggest kahuna. This one is $46.70 shipping. Pretty heavy too. All right, we got a bunch of stuff in there. Let's see what we got. First is, ooh, 
Mm -mm. Looks like you hook this on your uh, belt and then you can put stuff in there, like an ax or something. That's pretty sweet. The paracord confuses me because out of everything on here, this looks, I guess it looks the most familiar to me because I use paracord all the time. So I guess I associate it with like homemade things. I'm very impressed if the person who sent me this actually made this holster because to me, the holster did not look homemade and then the paracord looked homemade. But actually, now that I'm looking closer and closer, I think it is possible that this thing might be homemade and he just did a really good job on it. Or she, sorry, I'm not a bigot, I'm smaller. This is cool, this is very cool. Got a couple of old broken hammer handles, which of course, very good for knife handle making. Got some uh, little surgical thingies. These would have been great for when I was giving myself stitches. Oh well, I'll try to injure myself soon. Wow, we dang. We got six big old burnt out Diablo blades. Knife making material, of course, and a lot of it. I'm at a point where, man, I don't know how long it would take me to go through all the knife making material that I have. Hey, that's a good thing, I think. There's gotta be a letter in here somewhere. Ooh, thank God. He typed the whole thing out. Man, that is nice. To ZNA, I've been watching your YouTube channel for years and cannot stress how much I've enjoyed every one of your videos. Thank you for being a huge inspiration to me and all of your viewers. I can still remember setting up my first workshop on the side yard of my parents' house on Valentine's Day 2016. One of my first projects was making my own saw blade battle axe. I'm 21, live in Vegas, and now practice leather working. Ooh, so I'm thinking he did make that thing. Very impressive, dude. If you're interested in taking up the craft, I can recommend a few YouTube channels that have helped me. Dark Horse Workshop, Dieselpunk.ro, Weaver Leathercraft, and Todd's Workshop. I be watching Todd's Workshop, I see you. Keep up the good work, man. Can't wait to see what you and Dan get up to. And from a sinner to a saint, uh, Deus Volt, definitely not a saint. Got a whole bunch of epic pictures here. Mine and Dominic's battle axes. I like that bearded axe design, that's pretty sweet. It's got a flail that actually looks just like Oh, no way. This is actually the guy that bought the flail back when I sold all my weapons when I was moving, which by the way, I got my Google Pay uh, banned for that. Really messed up how they always trying to keep a nibba down. I was just out there on my grind and they banned me. And then him and his boy eating some giant turkey legs. It is about that time. Man, I've been editing all of it out, but my stomach has been speaking up. My stomach be having opinions about how long it's been since the last time I ate. Well, geez, guys, thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for providing me with a wealth of packages to finally get back into this. Not that I've ever done it before. Thank you for your generosity and very much thank you for not making me be a mime. That's all I got for today. Thank you all very much for watching, but remember, shh.